All right, we're back with the Opie and Anthony program. Live from Los Angeles, Joe Rogan uh, sitting in for Anthony, doing a great job. Anthony's at uh, table 14, and uh, we're so looking at the sneaker riot. What it, the fuck? Yeah, that's on the front page of the <laughs> New York Post. Dude, the, at this point, I'm just praying for the fucking aliens to land. There's a sneaker riot. A new Nike came out, and they have a riot of people trying to buy this new Nike. Isn't that amazing? It's not like it's a cure for cancer or a big dick pill. It's a fucking sneaker. And, and we joke about this all the time. With everything going on in the world, that's the most important story that it has to be on the front page of the New York paper, you know? Unbelievable. Yeah, but they're, they're just losing their minds trying to get their hands on the latest Nike. And it, it doesn't even look that cool. No, it looks stupid. It, it, it looks, looks like really the same dumb, shit. Right? It looks like the same shit. I don't understand. What does it do? I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, we're, I don't know. But the, the the boys in the hood, they they understand why it's so freaking cool. To me, I'm like, yeah, it's a sneaker. I That's don't... what I never understand when they have that show. You ever watch that show, Cribs? Of course. They go yeah. in these guys' houses. They're fucking insane houses, giant multimedia centers, yeah. and huge basketball courts. And then the sneaker collection. Yeah. Everybody's got a sneaker collection. I'm like, what the fuck am I missing? And they only wear them like once, twice yeah. maybe, because then there's like a little scuff on it. Like, ah, oh, I can't wear those anymore. Well, that's one of the cool things about uh, being a celebrity is you get free shit. Like, I got a lot of free shit from Nike. Like, uh, I call up Nike. I just I can call her up and go, hey, I need some new shit, and they just yeah. send me a giant fucking box of sneakers. I must have like 30 or 40 sneakers at home. What size are you, bro? Uh, 11. All right, give them up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can get them too. I think you can get them too. I'll, I'll hook you up with a lady, but uh, you I know. know, Anthony and I, we just don't go down that road for some reason. Yeah, I, mean, I don't I either. Lo- but I would love to get free shit, but I don't even know how to go about doing. You gotta get, it. Uh, a publicist can do everything for you, I but I, I I've been with the Nike lady forever. Yeah, all right, it's a nice deal. So, uh, Martini Steve is. Do you have an update, Steve? Why? Grab a mic. What's the, what's the update, whisper? Sweetie? I don't know. He's, he ran to the table <laughs> panicking. No, it's not a panic. It's uh, Kenny got uh, Ed Asner to come over. So oh, good. Get... My God. oh, wow. Good. Here he comes. Here we Holy go. Holy shit. Lou Grant, baby. Nothing. Holy nothing. shit. Lou Lou Grant. Mine. Dude, How do you like that? He has no idea what show he's going no. on. I oh, wow. Hey, sir. Have a seat. Mr. Asner. Hello, Mr. Asner. Pleasure. Fine. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said mine. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you said, yeah, fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm not that overcome. This is, I'm Opie, Joe Rogan from Fear Factor. How you doing? Right. Pleasure to meet you. Rich Voss from Last Comic Standing. How you doing? And, uh, and Jim Norton. I loved you in JFK. Thank you, Jim. I loved you in a lot of things. I actually yeah. le- recently watched a documentary that you narrated on the war- drug war in Colombia. Mm. It was really good. Yeah, it was a nice piece. Really, really good. Really Thank fascinating. You. So what happened? You got knocked out? Yeah, yeah. You fall asleep. You got tired? You fell asleep? No. You just got bored out there? Yeah, but why? You just got bored? The table was like no, not much action and at I the table? I didn't play well. Yeah. I think isn't that the bottom line? I didn't play well. Yeah. Do you play all the time? No. I play, I play straight poker. Uh, seven, seven and five. And uh, I'm I'm still new to Texas Hold'em. It's a it's a great game. It's taking over the country, though. I know it's a it's a contest of uh, smelling the shorts on the other players. Yeah, excellent way I mean, of putting that. I know. <laughs> I never thought Texas Hold'em could be hot. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean uh, I, I didn't mean that sexually. Oh, I know. <laughs> don't we mean everything sexually, really? <laughs> Do you I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. A lot of people feel I'm like I'm not a big poker player. My friend loves poker. And do you feel that in a tournament setting, the cameras and the lights kind of make the whole thing just like, you know, boom? Make it. What does boom mean? Like, like just the whole, like the intensity of the whole thing because of the cameras and lights might set it up differently than like under other things. I really don't. I mean, I am very. I don't think I'm that much more excited. Yeah. What's no, that? trying to keep the mic. I don't think I'm that much more excited than if I were playing in a high stakes game in a in a uh, in a house. Uh, uh, in this particular game, starting out, of course, I'm very relieved that it's not my money that I'm playing with. <laughs> were you the first to go at your table? Yeah. Kind of embarrassing, huh? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, you're not a saint, are you? No, <laughs> you figured that out right And you never back. will be. <laughs> no, no, I, and I don't claim to be, yeah, no. No, but then... But then well, the, what do you want us to ask? The first, I mean, the first charging up the hill 
to take the hill yeah. who gets killed yeah. is not necessarily a loser. I, I didn't say you were a loser. Yes, you did. You implied I, this much. Look, you know what? Oh, I'm smart. You did. Ass, and, no, no, he didn't piss me off. No, I'm but smart. I, mean, he's, he's, I don't like, I don't like that implication at all. I don't like that implication. I can't believe he's, he's doing that to Ed He's trying to show that he's well, I mean, better than I am. I don't like that at well, all. He really is. No, I, I mean, you survived 20 minutes. That's not bad. 20 minutes? <laughs> Once again, he's belittling me. <laughs> Unbelievable. I Disrespect. Don't, yeah. I don't do that. He sounds like a drug lord to me. <laughs> no, he, I, I, I couldn't, he looks like it, too. I, I couldn't sit at these tables. No? No, the guy I do the radio show with, he was brave enough to get in there. I'm not claiming to be brave enough. I, I, well, they I, wouldn't give you the money? Uh, no, nah, they, they know he was uh, better for this than I. No. Oh. I'm good at just being a jerk. <laughs> uh, I don't know. No, don't. Don't backtrack, please. Okay, go ahead. Let's move on. Let's right. move on a little bit, please. <laughs> backtrack. Is there an awkward feeling? At Not at all. I just don't like the fact that you implied that about Mr. Asner. He's here to, to help out with the radio show. How dare you? Well, there's, yeah. I don't know, yeah. there's still three, four hundred well, people still playing. And let's see. Five he made aren't. me a loser, <laughs> and then he called himself a jerk. Now, does that equate? Well, I didn't say you were a loser. Yes, you did. No, no, no. Yes, you did. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, where are we going with this? Where's the car crash sound when you need it? But, <laughs> but, look, look at the sweat coming off my car. But I'm you, usually pretty good at this, but I'm, I'm losing this one. Do you buddy. think that in this day and age yeah. that I would condemn you? Um, uh, I mean, I've had to deal with people like Sean Hannity. Sean's Oof. a good friend of ours. Is he? Yeah. I, I, think don't, he's I, don't, I don't agree with his politics, but he's oh. a good friend of ours. Why? We were on his show a, a few times. He's yeah. no conservative. What, I don't Mr. Like Asner, conservatives at all. What, what's your opinion of him? Oh, my God. He, uh, uh, he, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think he's a mannequin. What's a mannequin? That's a big word for me. You don't know what a mannequin is? I oh, think he's a mannequin. Oh, a mannequin mannequin. He's very like, stiff. Right. Oh, no, he, he's not stiff, but he's too pretty. He really is too He really should be modeling clothes. Yeah, he he doesn't belong on TV. This give his point of view. Yeah, he, he really doesn't belong on TV. Yeah. I, Only I, ugly I, people I, should be on TV, right? I think, you know, Sean is very good in this day and age because he has such a warped political ideology mm -hmm. that seems to be going very well right yep. now. Big Bush so, supporter. Yeah. So I'm, you know. You're the biggest dick. No, I'm not. <laughs> Hannity is like that. He's absolutely right. Hannity is a very, very <laughs> conservative Pundit. Well, you you weren't aware of that, Anthony? No, I, I'm. Uh -huh. I was, that's not really Anthony. That's Opie. He's lying. <laughs> oh, what's his name? His real name is Opie. Opie. I see. Anthony's playing cards. I see. I can't let this happen. The great Asner. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Right. Thank, thank you. Ed, can I ask you a question? Do you do you feel like you, like you were on? Where is this radio show this heard? XM. XM all over, radio. All over the country. Radio. All over the country. All over the country. Oh, all over the country. Really? Yeah. Casino. I have a question. Have you ever heard the banana phone? No. no. It's a no. great song. We'll mm. play it going in a break. You, you were on one of the greatest shows in history, <laughs> one of the greatest comedies to ever be on television. <laughs> okay. do, you, do you feel that, like, what do you think about the comedy today? Do you think it's watered down on television, what they're passing off as, as comedy? What do you, how do you feel about the comedies that well, are on I, now? I, I'm a fan. I, I love Curb, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Right. Yeah, I, that's a great show. That's my I, favorite show. I, I like that a lot. I, I'm that and Fear I Factor. I don't, watch, uh, I don't watch that either. Uh, but, I, unfortunately, I don't watch the others. Uh, what do you like? I don't like. I like Mary Tyler Moore. I like. Uh, no, no, I mean Taylor. now. N nothing. No, nothing. I, you look back at the old shows like like Sanford and Son, All in the Family. They, they, they're so Mash. much better. They were yeah. so much better. The sitcoms were so much better. But Mary Tyler Moore, everybody in the show got yeah. their own spinoff show. Everybody yeah. from the Weatherman, Gordon, they all had their own show. That's how good it's it was. Great fucking show. Hey, that that was a great uh, observation. You didn't know that, everyone. Of course I did. <laughs> no, yeah. you didn't. Uh, you, you can you can say fuck on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's totally uncensored. It's who phenomenal. You, who do you want to curse out first? Uh, well, let's see. Did we cover Hannity all yeah, the way? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Who, who's left? Uh, Rush Limbaugh. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, the the Herman Goering of radio. Ooh, uh, nice. Um, I no, I don't. I don't have. You know, Kerry, uh, but Kerry just didn't have a shot. He didn't. He didn't stand up for anything during the uh, during the election. Well, he did tend to self destruct, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, I was rooting for him. Oh, the like weirdest I'll, thing to me I'll was how everybody just threw Dean down the sewer after that one crazy speech. <laughs> I think it was one but it wasn't speech. crazy. You don't even you don't even know what happened there, do you? I do. Nope, no, he doesn't. Do. He doesn't know. Can I show my knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, what did you know? He was yelling because he couldn't be heard. That's all. That, but do you know? Do you understand that they gave him a microphone, right? Which the media uses to block out exterior noises. Exactly. It's called a, uh, uh, a unidirectional. What, whatever. Oh, so the crowd was going crazy. Yeah, the, the crowd was going and crazy. And he was so trying they... to shout so he could be heard to the crowd. Oh. The microphone cut out the crowd noises yep. so that he sounded like a lunatic yeah. on the microphone. Yeah, why do you think they kept looping it and showing it on? Uh, on all the because it's Republican they, media. No, yep, no, the Republican well, control media maybe, no. absolutely sold him down the river. maybe it was because the... The Clintons wanted Hillary to, uh, oh my they God. didn't want him to win. Awesome. No, no, listen, I think, I think everybody's wrong. I think it was the most sensational thing to talk about. I mean, look, it was yeah, fucking ridiculous. Exactly. I don't think there was any conspiracy. I think yeah. if you if you watch that tape, it's fucking hysterical. Yeah, the guy's screaming, hey, we're going to go to Washington. You're like, yeah, whoa, matter, this guy wants to be president. He's out of his fucking mind. At that point, it didn't matter with that. why it, it, yeah, it, you it, run it with happened. That. They had to run with it. But, uh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. We, the crowd was really into yeah. what he was saying, was but, but, the, but you didn't get to hear the he crowd. He sounded like but a maniac. from the very beginning, the Republicans were spreading the story when Dean was doing, started out doing well in Iowa, that they couldn't wait for him to gain the nomination because they knew they could beat him. They spread that story. The Democrats bought it hook, yep. line, and sinker, which is why they so fell, fell easily into the trap right. of going to carry an iron. There you go. And I, I do think the Republican media kind of sold him down after that. They showed, they kept showing it because, oh, you know, mean like ABC, CBS, they're all very, very conservative, and they definitely, uh, you know, Dan Rather, all very conservative, and they did attack him and kind of throw him to the wolves yeah, like that. Well, you know, thank God he became, uh, he did, did win heavily. Head of the DNC. You trying to get rid of me? Yes. What are you doing, Ben? <laughs> oh. <laughs> ben, what, ben, what are you doing? Making sign language. What's the sign language? Uh, Ed, that's Ben, and, and he's our producer. And he decides when uh, a guest is uh, getting a little too boring, and that was the sign what that the ben oh, okay. fuck? usually gives. And, uh, More ben, what's disrespect. Well, We're I, having I, a good interview. I can, I, I can, I can tell you, Anthony, that that's the <laughs> last <laughs> time. <laughs> I'll ever be on your show. No, that was... Uh, that, yeah, Ben. I've, been, I've suffered your insults enough. And <laughs> I, I certainly wouldn't come back again. I'll be glad to talk to you about the Columbia oh, documentary about some that. other time that when he's not around. Can I talk to you, Ed? I'm okay. a big fan. I love you. Absolutely. Thank you. Be how, sure how, that he's not in there. I, I don't... He does this all the time. I'm I a big fan. I'm very happy to have you on the show. He is a... He is a... Uh, he's a destroyer. He's a destroyer. <laughs> a destroyer. <laughs> he's like Gordon Gecko. He builds yeah, nothing. Yeah. He liquidates. He's filthy. <laughs> Yeah. His, he's greasy. Yes, he is greasy. I don't want to smell his shorts. He's a spend <laughs> In quotes, I don't want to smell his shorts. Ed Asner. Bravo. The, the great Ed Asner. Great Ed Asner. Thank you, sir. Very nice Thank to meet you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, Kenny, yes? We, we got you? Superman. Yeah, I know. Where's Norton going and where's Voss going? Oh, you're getting photos and stuff? All right. Thank you, Ed Asner. <laughs> what is this? Uh, yeah, well, s sit him down there. Everyone is uh, getting pictures with, with Ed Asner. <laughs> <laughs> you Dude, you went after Ed Asner. I didn't go after oh him. Oh, my God. You we so just, hurt him. We were just having fun. I think he was really upset. I, I, I guess he didn't really get our, I don't think, no, uh, he, our, our sense, sense of got, humor. No, no, the goof. It's hard for people to get the Actually, goof. Actually, he's dude. a legend, and I... Uh, I I loved Mary Tyler yeah. Moore growing up. A lot of the old guys don't get the goof. They no, don't want to. Like, no. Come on. But, but I can't like. I can't be something. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You're a destroyer. He calls you a destroyer. <laughs> Wait till Anthony hears this on the replay. Oh, it was phenomenal. Hey Jimmy, get back here, man. I'm, I, I started sweating. <coughs> so Ed, no, come on, give me a handshake, please. Fuck you! They said, no, fuck you, dude. Ed Asner just said, "Fuck you." Oh, that's phenomenal. Never have lunch in this town again. Never have lunch. <laughs> Wait, get him on mic. Get him on mic. He's like cursing me out and stuff as he's walking away. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I hate Oprah if he's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah doesn't give a fuck. Dude, dude, what's I, up, man? How you doing, man? Jim. I've seen you on uh, Last Comic Standing. Wait, oh, wait, wait. thanks. You should have won that thing. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people have said that. It was not that I should have won, but I should have kept going, but I had a contract. That oh, I yeah. Dude, yeah. phenomenal yeah. Tonight yeah. Show. I, I saw really you on there, too. Right? Thank you. Jim, yeah. phenomenal yeah. Tonight Show set. I watched oh, more thank the second you, I, I heard it. Thank I didn't you. see it. I heard it on the radio. Fucking phenomenal. Oh, thanks, really man. funny shit. I was laughing my ass off. Thanks, buddy. The body of a scallop. I remember her. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Listen, I just got a bear hug from Ed Astor. Ed Astor's fucking strong, We made good. Dude, I'm usually pretty good at that. 
I, I was oh. sweating so freaking bad. He was looking right through me. Do you understand? <laughs> he was looking right through Dude, me. Dude, I mean, you want to talk about a poker face? I'm usually I usually have a great poker face. I just can't play cards. He got he got to me. I agreed that the media was conservative. Do you know what a liar and a whore I just I th- That's why I always I, was, I, told you I, I hate the left. I thought you were just playing with I him. Call, I called you out on that, and you, you sold me down oh, the river. Oh boy, did I big time? That was a lot of fun. Wait, oh, he was great. Years about that one, man. Oh, he was great. I was uncomfortable sitting here next. To <laughs> I was really. I, <laughs> I go, when I go, that's the sign Ben gives when the oh, yeah. guests are really boring. Oh my god! All you guys just look straight down at the floor. <laughs> oh. Who's the guy she's talking to? Uh, Siri, new show. I'm getting. All right, I'm What's sorry. That? <laughs> I, I don't even know who you are. I'm, I'm gay. Hey, oh, what's up, buddy? No, uh, what's Robert, the note? Really yeah, well, can you read that, Joe? Okay. Ben's like, I gave you the note. Daniel, uh, no, you're a professional. Uh, you're, you're a pro. The Grano, the Grano. And you're pro a pro poker player. You're a professional pro. poker player. Poker and you got knocked out? Yeah. Oh, what happened? Damn. Wait, talk right into the mic there. I was there just go. goofing around, pretty much. I take this thing very lightly. It's kind of fun. Dude, More this is fun Ed Norton in that fucking movie. That's, I get that a lot. He even <laughs> sounds like him. He's a pro poker player, and he sounds like What is that, Rounders? Is that what he was? That was Rounders. So that's what you do, Do You play poker professionally. That's it. You look like a young guy. How old are you? 30 years old. And you play poker professionally. What a fucking cool job and, that and, is. And what celebrity beat you today? I didn't lose to a celebrity. I don't even know who I lost to. Some random dude I'd never seen before. Really? Yeah. I was, like I said, just goofing around, having fun. Wow. A, a pro's out and Anthony's still out wow. there playing. That's not that, too shabby. That is. That's pretty How much impressive. money have you won uh, playing poker? Uh, I've won more than anybody else in tournament poker. Last year I won Last year I won about $4.5 million. Holy shit! Oh my <laughs> holy shit! Are you kidding? So, what, what holy is, fucking shit. So you won $4.5 million playing cards? So last you, year I did, yeah. Just now, last year. When, last year he said. When he said I'm, I was just fooling around out there, I'm like, now I believe it. He's like, ah. Dude, you're a pro poker player. You're, wow. How, how many years have you been doing this? I started playing when I was about 17, 18 years old. And, and how long uh, pro? How long have you been playing? I guess when I was 18. I mean, I didn't have a real job. I worked as a telemarketer for a day, and it was, that wasn't me. So Holy shit. I don't, I don't like people telling me what to do. Four and a half million dollars. What's, what do you think all told you've made? Um, well, in tournaments, I'm the winningest tournament poker player in the history of poker. That's like uh, seven or eight million. God so, Damn. Overall, I don't know, with cash games and stuff, so, I, I figure like so 12 million. So basically, you just weren't in. Fuck, you won millions of dollars in cash games? Like in crazy hotel rooms and shit? With Mostly with casinos. Guns? No, that's like back in the old days. Poker's evolved <laughs> now. We've got Does like, that ever <laughs> happen, though? Do you ever have like some crazy basement game with a bunch yeah. of hoodlums? You talk to a guy like Dole Brunson, he'll tell you a lot of stories like that. But yeah. I've been robbed before, a couple really? times, back in the day. Back in the day in Toronto. Like, what happened? Robbed. Well, I just got robbed by a couple guys in an elevator. They were cool, though. Okay. You know, they didn't beat me up or nothing. They just took the money. So. Is this Canadian money you're talking about? Or that was Canadian oh, oh. money back then. Yeah. That's when, crazy. When you go, after you're done playing poker, which, do you ever go shoot crafts or something for excitement, for real excitement? Not really. When I moved to Vegas, I knew it was pretty important that I had to, like, stick to poker. That's it? Wow. Yeah. Poker. It, yeah. So you right, treat it like goes right to the bank. Right yeah. to the bank well, yeah, with just, cash. You just treat it like a career, right? It is a real job. In sure. a lot of ways. Do you read books on it and practice? I write books. I don't read them. You write books? <laughs> No, I've read a bunch of them, but right. I don't really think there's a lot of books out there right now that are really going to teach you what you need to know. I, do you know. do you practice or do you just play? I mean, do you like go over strategy? Like, how do you? What do you I do? did that when I was learning and stuff, uh-huh. and, I was, and I was getting better. But at this point, I don't. There's not much left for me to like learn from that kind of stuff. So basically, your whole job is just playing cards. Period. When I feel yeah, no preparation, I feel like just play cards. What's, oh, wow. what's the coolest thing you've bought? Coolest thing I bought? Yeah, because I mean, you're like, you're like us. We, you didn't have money growing up at first, right? No, no. And then all of a sudden, you you realize you could play this poker, and you're you're doing so well. What what was that one? I guess it would be the Lexus SC 430 convertible, which is a fun car. It's good Those for Vegas. You get the top down. Paid cash, right? I and did no too. They were freaked the out. I actually brought like. 80,000 in cash, and they like counted out one by one, <laughs> like 100 by 100. I'm like, we've never had this before. That's this is a, new for us. That's a little understated, too, for a guy that's that rich. I would figure he'd be trolling around in a Ferrari or no, something. No, I like that car. It's a fun car. Have you seen it? It's a fun car. Look, he's trying yeah. to defend his ride. His, yeah. He's it's to, a pimp ride. Yeah, he's trying to defend <laughs> his whip. And you were the Toyota <laughs> Poker Player of the Year? I was a ESPN Toyota Player of the Year. A World Poker Tour Player of the Year, Card Player of the Year, Champion Player of the Year. Put a Player of the Year, I was it. Norton's a big, big fan of uh, of poker. So. I, I just get too intimidated, and I'm, I'm not a good player. Here we go. A friend of mine <laughs> wanted to become a, a pro. Oh, and do you friend. think that a guy who wants to... I mean, look, he plays. I just kind of enjoy it. But do you think that a guy who wants to become a pro... I mean, the whole setup out here is just kind of geared towards, like, you know, just making it kind of, like, happen and all that stuff, like, from... 
<laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what in the world you. is this guy talking about? Gotcha. It's all about making it happen. Making what happen? He Let's caught you. <laughs> becoming a pro. What I'm saying. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. He gotcha. Becoming. What I'm saying is to make make it happen. It. Being a pro. <laughs> You're a pro, and it's a lot different than like when yeah. someone's an amateur playing amateur poker. So I'm saying is the lights and the camera kind of what makes the, the whole, whole thing. pro thing. I mean, people throw that term around like a pro. What's the difference between a pro and an amateur? That's what it's I'm kind of silly because right. when I was 23 years old, and people said, "Well, what do you do for a living?" I said, "Nothing." What do you, I play cards? I said, well, wasn't I a pro? I mean, I didn't know I was a pro, but I guess I was. Anybody can call themselves a pro and right. suck at poker. You know, if you don't have a job and you're a bum, say I'm a pro. <laughs> Pretty right. much. Very interesting. Cool. Yeah. No shit. Right. So do you have poker groupies? Poker groupies. Well, I was engaged, but yeah. I'm no longer for good, the last three days. Good for you. That's a yes. Good for you. <laughs> what you good for you. The last three days. Shut up, Bridget. Three days ago, yeah. We, we, <laughs> wait, wait, there's we're a done story deal. here. There's a story here. Okay. There's a story here. Three days ago, he Whoa. called the quits with the... Uh, nice. What happened? Check. Well, we basically didn't... Everything was good. We got along great, except for a couple minor things. You know, politics, religion, and the way to raise our kids. So... Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, those, just a couple things. Those it's, are a little big. Who's yeah. the religious one? Well, we I mean, we just did philosophies about... You know, our approach and things like that. Don't get which is him very different. religion. What, who's, uh, Joe's is, religion. She's a lot more conservative than I was. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. A little, you know, on certain issues. religion. Yeah. So you want to raise the kids in, like, some sort of religious school? Well, I got something. this thing. My, my dad, when I was 17 years old, I'd sit out in the pool when I was 17, and we'd have a drink. We'd have a glass of wine. And she's like, but that's illegal. I'm like, I'm not letting the government oh, raise my oh kids. My <laughs> I was Jesus exactly, right? And I'm Christ. like, you're kidding me, right? So well, we don't want to have alcohol in the house. That's I'm like, whose illegal. house? My Holy house? Fuck. I don't think yeah, the so. house that I'm paying for? <laughs> was she really hot? She was cute. Now, do yeah. you think now you broke up with her you just think about other dudes just gorilla fucking her? Does that, <laughs> does that haunt you? That's what I always think. I'm being honest. Whenever I break up with a chick, the first thing I think of is some other guy fucking stuffing her <laughs> into the corner of a couch. Just fucking slamming it, coming in her face. That's yeah. all I ever think about. I think about her liking you must, I think, shit. Yeah. I just let her go. And then th that's the worst thing that could ever happen to you, is you break up with a really hot chick, and, uh, and then during the, the, the soft the period issues. where it hasn't hardened, some nah. other guy just... There's a book called Arousal You Should Read. It'll no, explain like what that's all about. Honest. It's honest. Yeah. It's, it's just natural male I'm chimpanzee I'm, instinct. I'm so with Joe on that. Come on, man. You don't, it doesn't true. bother you, the idea Not, of some you know, other guy had, fucking the shit out of her? But when you're thinking Not about really. It, yeah, her loving it, her worshiping some other guy's cock. This is the woman that you love, and she's just got her tongue out, and she's rubbing her tongue. And, and, and she's the, coming in her face and closing her eyes. It's dripping off her fake eyelashes. That doesn't bother you. It bothers me, and I don't yeah. even know you. One other thing, the guy's black. <laughs> Yeah, oh. <laughs> it black bothers and me. You know, and you're not spanking it to that thought. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah. All right. Well, Daniel, thank you. It was a pleasure. We're you got it, guys. Dude, that's a very interesting job, man. Congrats for having the balls to pursue it. Thanks, yes, man. Seriously, that's cool. Appreciate 4. it, guys. 4.5 million. Very impressive. That's awesome, man. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Did you get that's the ring good. back? You get the ring back? The ring back? We, that, we're, we're in um, Fuck that ring. discussion over the logistics more. of that fuck, kind of stuff. Fuck her. Fuck, let her keep the ring. Rot with it. <laughs> All right. Take that thing. Good. There he goes. Take it to heaven right. with you. Good job, buddy. Take it to Valhalla. And, there, and, and there's Jim getting more of his celebrity photos. <coughs> Eatabullet.com t-shirt on. He's so just a whore. I stink in an Eatabullet.com t-shirt. Oh, uh, did he really? Oh, that's awesome. Gotta, that's awesome. I got to tell you guys, man, this is pretty impressive. Anthony's still out there. And, you know, we're, we're Dude, one Anthony's the, a bad motherfucker. One of the best uh, got knocked out, and Anthony's still at his table. He's down to like six people over there. Yeah, something like Dean that. Dean Kane, Superman's What's in the that? house. What's, What's that? up, man? How you doing, buddy? I, I got knocked out like everybody else. I guess you can just hey, come Dean. over here, huh? Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jim from New Jersey. Ben Sandy, no, <laughs> Dean K. Dean Kane. I went to school in New Jersey, man. Where about? Uh -huh. Princeton. Right oh, that's a little north of me. I was from, I'm from North Brunswick. I was right. born in Newark. Oh, really? All right, cool. See, without Jersey, none of us would be here. Plainfield. I tried to Plainfield. It's Wait, so that old Jersey so audience. The, the, the poker man got knocked out? Yeah, yeah, yeah he got knocked out. He made $4.5 million last year playing poker. And he's out of this tournament. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he said, what did he say? He said he was just fucking around. Yeah, he was just fucking around today. He wasn't, well, he, he wasn't feeling it. He didn't feel like going through the whole process, I think. I was doing the same thing. Plus, he lost his chick. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his chick three days ago. So yeah, he's all broken up. Yeah, his mind's somewhere else. Oh, wow. He yeah. should be drinking. He's trying to get his ring back. What finally knocked you out? I mean, what, did you, what kind of hand did you have? I actually had uh, two pair with an ace kicker. So I actually was in good shape. The guy flopped a five on the river to give him a straight. Oh, wow. So I was in good shape. And uh, I started learning poker last night at midnight. <laughs> My buddy was teaching me, so we played from midnight to three. I had three McAllen rocks. I woke up with a little bit of a headache and I dreamed about cards. So I thought, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be good today. And then uh, we got into this, and we're the first out at, at your table. Uh, yeah, first out of my table. But I also, at that time, I had already amassed. Yeah. 
the most chips at the table. Myself and this other guy had quietly, and we went head to head. And he, fl- he listen when we shook hands. He's like, all right, great. We shook hands. His hand was soaking wet. Really? He was nervous as could be. And he's one of these, you know, pro guys. So Maybe he's just one of those sweaty, awful he people. He could be that. <laughs> he could, but I don't think so. He was one of those guys who looked very, very serious about this game. Some people just perspire a lot, though. They're just disgusted. <laughs> they transfer the duck virus and they shake your hand. Is that what you're the virus? Says, that my hands are very says, dry. Very I'm dry. Saying, your yeah, shirt, that's, man. that's the new virus oh. you got to worry about, the duck virus. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, over in Asia or something like I know that. I are saying that the flies are, uh, are infecting people. That's good. Of course. Yeah, great. That's, that's wonderful. Another thing to be excited about. How long has your show been on? Which show? Uh, aren't you playing Superman? Yeah, I did that <laughs> ten years ago. I don't know, dude. I, I don't. Sorry, I, 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 Are you serious? It's all right, man. I, I, dude, I don't watch TV. I don't know. Don't worry about it. It's all right. That's all right. See his shirt over there, the flaming ass. Yeah, I have nothing to do with that. Oh, not anymore. Okay. Zero. No, he's that's a, that's a while. Does ago. it bother you that there's sort of like a curse uh, that's attached to all the Supermen? Is that it's kind of a weird thing though, really, right? Yeah, but it's like you know everybody who's ever, you know. President of the United States, except for like six guys, they're all dead. So, I mean, you know, yeah, but they're so old. Yeah, exactly. It's I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not trying to freak you out. No, it sounds like it freaked you out a little bit. No, it sounds like it freaked you out a little bit. Come on, come on. One guy killed himself. The other guy got paralyzed. And I mean, yeah. but there was another guy before that. Another guy before that, Kirk Allen. What happened to him? Like 96 years old, oh, okay. died of old age. Well, there you go. That's my five on the four. Two for four. But that, uh, Dean went back in history to make sure. Okay, look, there what, was the a guy. The 1946 serial? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this? Is it maybe that when a new Superman comes along, that's when the old one gets all fucked up? You know what? That's, maybe that's, that's what it is. That may be the case. Because when you came along, yes, and now there's a new one that's going to put... Ooh, geez, You're the only guy dude. to ever put that together. Fuck, dude. If I was you, I'd wear one of those big rubber crash collars. Just I wear, walk around with I wear a helmet things. at home. It might be a good move. <laughs> I, I have to ball, ask you this. How many chicks banged you just because of that role? They had to want to bang you because of that. Well, um, you're going to have to ask the chicks that. Because I, I, I figured they wanted to, you know, do Keep that sort of deal. business because, you know, uh, I was charming and I went to school in New Jersey. That's what I was kind of hoping. <laughs> I maybe, really maybe hope, I didn't do it. That gives me hope then if that works. Because <laughs> I went to school in New Jersey and I still have to hand over 300 after it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it was only a little golden shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim's into something a little different, Dean. 300 uh, for a golden shower. Yeah, yeah, it's really it's awful. They don't do full service nominations. <laughs> Full service. Yeah. So do you feel like playing on it? Because I never played in a tournament of any kind. I get too nervous. Do you, shut up. Do you feel that playing in like a setting like this is conducive with like getting knocked out, or is it like one of those things that you just have to kind of like you know go well, this is what's going to happen, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've never played before. I don't have a concept. I have no idea what's going on here. So, it would uh, throw me all these people. So I, didn't, I didn't care. I don't. I mean, I was the guy. Like I said, the guy was very nervous. His hand was all sweaty. It was very important to him to be in. I was having a good time. And all right. oh, look, I just picked my mom up from the airport. There's my mom over there. She's sitting there. Hi, mom. Hello. Mom. Oh, she's James reading mom. poker player. She's reading poker player. She's I picked her up from the airport. She didn't want me to stay very long. Okay. So I figured I'd bet early and see what happens. Were you, were you playing for charity? Yes. What charity? Can you say? I'm playing, playing for the, uh, it's basically a boys and girls club. It's called the Malibu Foundation for Youth and Family. I grew up in Malibu, California, so. Okay. So if you get knocked out, do they, they don't get any money or do they still get something? <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, donate money to them anyway, question. so I don't think yeah. that, you know what, I'm going to go ask people that. That's a good question. It's kind of depressing, you know, they're sitting there, you know, hungry or whatever. Hoping yeah. well. And... Well, you know, the kids in Malibu, so underprivileged, right? That's what they always yeah. say. That's a joke. But, <laughs> yeah, but, but the reality is, you know, it's, yeah. it's a good place. There are a lot of kids out there who need some place to go after school, and it's a, it's a great uh-huh. situation. All right. Well, Dean, thanks for staying. Thanks so much, man. Take a break. Here, Dean Kane. It's uh, the Opie and Anthony program live from lo- what? Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna play Banana Phone into break. Yes. Yeah. Why don't we? We'll love that song. Why don't we do the Banana Phone and we'll continue with the Opie and Anthony program live from uh, from the World Poker Tour in Los Angeles. 